cosmonaut is abandoned on a tiny space station. Three astronauts on their way to the moon are blown off course and heading into the great nothingness. And today, two veteran space explorers are stranded in space with no ship to bring them home. Risking the effects of solar flares and radiation, asphyxiation, and boiling blood, there's a real life and death cost to exploring the universe and pushing the boundaries of space exploration. And each of these astral travelers were left lost, stranded, or even worse. Enter Sergei Krikalev. This is the astronaut who was stranded in space for 311 days. In 1991, cosmonaut Sergei Krikalov had just arrived on the Soviet space station Mir. But little did he know, he was about to have a big problem. See, while he was up in space, below him on Earth, the Soviet Union was dissolving. So when it came time for Sergei to come home, his country technically no longer existed. Which meant Sergei was now left in space with no country to bring him home. With the threat of increasing radiation and muscle atrophy, Sergei would survive the next 10 months thanks to rations and visits from other cosmonauts. Until finally, the US government and the Russian Federation joined to bring Sergei home. Mishaps occur. And in an environment like space, without the use of the force or any deflector shields, things can get extreme, quick. The Apollo 13 was 210,000 miles away from the Earth when the three spacemen said goodnight to their families. 10 minutes later, an explosion occurred, venting the contents of the service module oxygen tanks into space. With a loss of oxygen needed for breathing and generating electric power, the SM propulsion and life support systems were failing. The crew let home base know of their new issue with the famous, Houston, we've had a problem here. According to DeGogo and Cold Fusion, the Apollo mission faced a life or death situation. Landing on the moon was out of the question now. The first thing they had to do was correct their trajectory. The explosion had shifted them off course, and if they didn't correct, they would still swing around the moon, but upon their return, they would miss the Earth completely. As the disaster unfolded, the news media began picking up the story. From ABC News Space Headquarters, there has been an emergency in the flight of Apollo 13. Some kind of explosion occurred in the spacecraft's main engine. The explosion affected the spacecraft's main power system supplied by fuel cells. And that means that their oxygen supply is in jeopardy and their water supply is officially termed critical. The whole Earth was now watching, including the families of those in space. I thought, something's wrong. My dad's never coming back. I'm never going to see my dad again. I basically felt at that point that he was dead. Apollo 13's new plan was to swing around and harness the moon's gravity and then manually course correct the ship's direction on the way back using inverted controls and a booster located on the lunar lander. That ship was never designed for open space travel like this, but somehow they managed to return on target and smash back through the atmosphere to gently splash into the South Pacific Ocean on April 17, 1970. Today, space travel hasn't become any less dangerous. Currently, there are two astronauts stranded in space, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, two veteran American astronauts, launched above the stratosphere on a mission to last eight days. Their test spacecraft got them into space, but was unable to bring them home. As of October 2024, they have faced four months of radiation exposure, psychological stress, the effects of zero gravity, and no ticket home. They're stranded for at least a few more months. But Neil deGrasse Tyson, everyone's favorite future-forward science guru, has a much more down-to-earth take on the story. The fact that the press was using the word stranded, there's a half dozen other astronauts on the space station. How stranded can you be when there are other human beings there to hang out with until you get rescued? Plus, there's plenty of food, plenty of water, and people who you know well, who pay top dollar just to get into space. So if I were Sunita and Butch, I'd say, oh, I have to spend longer in space? Oh, that's too bad, isn't it? <laughs> I guess I, let me just enjoy the rest of this time. Humanity's explorers have long put themselves in harm's way, knowing and accepting the fact that there's a good chance they won't make it home. The next generation of space adventurers face even more extreme challenges. They're rolling out plans to establish moon bases, send one-way ships to Mars, and land on asteroids to colonize and mine for resources. 
fearless space travelers, our astronauts and cosmonauts, will face the longest of goodbyes yet known to humanity, a forever send off to be eternally lost in space. Thanks for watching. If you were offered a one way trip to Mars, would you go? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to link us to other thoughts that matter.